Alrighty, so it's been about three weeks since the last episode of Zero Overall Franchise. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's a problem, right? So I want to bring this to you guys more often. I will definitely make that happen. Also, if you guys hear like a little clicky noise every once in a while, that's my fan that's right next to me. You can probably tell I'm like glistening. It's hot in here. Whew. If you guys hear it, it's just the fan. It's trying to give me some air so I don't die of heat stroke in this room right now. Also, Twitch. Link in the description below. We've been streaming very often on there. You guys can come hang out. We're doing a live rebuild. We've been going through the draft, through prospects. It's a lot of fun. It's just a great way for you guys to see what we do or what I do um, during my rebuild. So it's kind of a, a good way to just come hang out. We talk, chill, play some franchise, go there. Also, if you guys enjoy the series, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. We're almost at 15,000 subs. I told you guys I got something really big planned to reveal to you once we hit that mark. And also in the comment section, let me know why you guys enjoy this series. I think that's it. Let's get into it. All right, so it's been a while since the last episode, so I'm pretty sure you guys forgot what happened. Garfield Wallace hit a home run. That was about it. We got smacked by the Padres. I think it was 22 to 1. So things didn't go too well. Today, we are going to hop into this game right here against the Diamondbacks. I think that's going to be a good series. We're going to play in Arizona they're a bad team but were worse so let's see how things go all right look at the Diamondbacks light up line up they got Cattell Marte Adam Jones David Peralta Jake Lamb Eduardo Escobar Christian Walker Carson Kelly and Luke Weaver on the mound who I mean they they look like they're struggling David Peralta is the only one above 300 and maybe, just maybe, this is the team that we end up beating. Probably not. We haven't won a game. We haven't come close to winning a game. And we have 101 losses. So this one's going to be a tough, tough season. We need at least one win so we can bring in a new player through a trade or free agency. But I don't know. I, it's not looking likely. We only got 61 games remaining. We're going against Luke Weaver with a 5.09 ERA. He struggled through the year with a 3.13 record and a whip at 1.59. That is not good. Not good at all. And you can see the zero overall jerseys are back. So let's get started. Alrighty, so I think they threw a total of like five pitches. They were all strikes and uh, it didn't go too well for us. We, we went one, two, three. So you're probably not even going to see our half of the inning. But as you can see, we're in the bottom of the first. So far, so good from Rufus Patton. We got a nice little ground ball. Lyndon Langwood is there to make the play. No, Landon Linwood. Langdon Linwood. Man, I can't. <laughs> it's been so long. I'm still messing up his name. Langdon Linwood. He's going to demand a trade if I keep messing up his name. But as you guys can see, I had Pierre LaFont in center. And he's going to really allow a triple. I gave him the start today, and that's how he's going to repay me, allowing a double on a routine fly ball there. Adam Jones in scoring position with a David Peralta up that is swinging a hot bat. Ooh, what a play there at first base by Garfield Wallace. Definitely our MVP of the season. All right, 1-1. One, one. Wilmer Flores is up. Definitely don't want to go down one nothing in the first. So if we could get out of this without allowing this run it would be amazing that wasn't the slider I wanted but I guess it's better than allowing a base hit we're going with the circle change he hangs it and I mean even if Pierre Lafont got a good jump on that one that one's dropping and it's looking like it's going to be a one nothing game with an RBI double for Wilmer Flores not the best of starts but it's only one run it definitely it's 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 not a it's not a mountain that we can't climb All right, we're going to get out of it. Just one run. Definitely could have been worse. And that's the inning. So, down one run. With the way we started our half of the inning, I'd be surprised if we get a hit this half of the inning. All righty, Darren Day gets the day at third base because uh, McFarland was just a little too tired. And you know what? He's going to start it off right with a single. I'll take a two-out single there. Way to keep the inning alive. Taking your chances for sure with Darren Darren Day there. I'll take that. Nice little single. So 1-2. Two. 
two outs. We got Day at first. The one, two. That's going to be the out. That's the inning. Slider hung, and boy, he was sitting on that one. So I'm glad he was he was expecting fastball. We're going to go fastball up in the zone. This should be, a, you know, should be a routine play. We have Victor Victor in right. What is he doing? What was that? He just completely ran by it. Oh, good thing he had time to readjust because that was almost... I think I would have lost my mind. So Christian Walker's up. And that's that's a gapper. That's a double for sure. Victor Victor's going to chase it down. We got to keep it to just two bases here. Come on, toss it in. He's going to go for three. He's going to have it too. Unless Langdon's got an arm. He doesn't. And that's a triple. That's not good. That's not good at all. They got Carson Kelly up. I don't understand why Vic... Oh, man. I'm not... What? What I was going to say is I don't understand why Victor Victor Mesa always has the worst animations when it comes to throwing. He always has to take like seven crow hops before he throws it. And then as I say that, Carson Kelly goes deep. Man... This is not good. Right, it's looking like it might be an early exit for Rufus Patton. Already losing confidence here in the second. Can we make the play? We can't. So there's at least a single. 22 speed. I'm pretty sure that was the pitcher too. So the pitcher's getting on. Which is not not what you want to see. Not what you want to see at all. Alright, let's, let's go back to the changeup. Because I feel like it might be the best pitch for us. And it is. Darren Day makes the play at third. And we go into the top of the third inning, down three. Yikes. And that's going to be the third out. Another quick inning for us. Luke Weaver's throwing strikes. Like, he's throwing it in the zone. They're good pitches to hit. We just don't have the power to get good contact on them. All right, we're going to go to the righty, Benny Fernandez. Saying he's one of our better relievers doesn't really mean much, but I'm hoping he can do some damage for us. And by damage, I don't mean let the opponent do damage. I mean he can keep the game close. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, jeez. That cutter hung way too much. And we're going to try to play it off the wall here. Okay, a double. LaFont plays it off the wall pretty cleanly. And we had him. We had him on the ropes. Oh, or... 1-2, I think it was. The count was 1-2 and just hung a cutter a little bit too much. Okay. Well, the, the meter didn't even let me charge it up. It immediately threw it when it was in the red zone. Uh, and that's why I stopped the throw because I didn't want him to throw it away to third. And, of course, that's going to happen next. So we could have we had David Peralta dead at third base if it would have let me charge up the throw. But it didn't. What kind of gameplay is this? Ooh, okay. There we go. We get a strikeout first out of the inning. Jake Lamb sits down. Too slow on the relay. So an RBI double for Eduardo Escobar. And we're, uh, it's getting out of hand. It's 5-0. So that's it's kind of an ugly scenario for us. Couldn't make the play. That's what you get for playing a, a first baseman at third. He does have the third base, secondary spot. He just couldn't, couldn't make the play there. Please don't drop. Come on, Langdon. He makes the play. Just it's getting worse and worse. And worse. One run the first, two the third or second, and then three in the third. We're down six. Garfield Wallace rakes. Oh man, he hit that so well. It's just gonna hang too much for David Peralta. Man. Alrighty, Adolfo Cabrera is coming in. I mean, I think it's gonna be like one reliever per inning right now, which is a huge problem for us. Victor Victor Mesa, you don't even have bad fielding. You shouldn't be getting bad jumps. 
Luckily, he makes the play. Whew, that was... Ooh. All right, that's a single. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Circle change is going to... Ah, it's just a base hit. Luckily, it's just a base hit, though. So, just a base hit. Just a base hit. He has two doubles before that, so... Could have been worse. Fouls it off. So, we got one more strike. That's all we need. We're going to go to the splitter. See if we get him here. Oh, we get him looking. And oh, Cabrera gets us out of it. First inning, no runs allowed. All right, Darren, or I keep saying Darren, it's Dixon. It's Dixon. I don't know why I keep saying Darren. I'm thinking Darren O'Day. It's Dixon Day. But Dixon Day's got us started off right. You know, he's our only hit. So he's taking his his chances. And he, he got a hold of that one. It's going to hang. Is it? Oh, man, I thought maybe it would have been out of reach. For Adam Jones, unfortunately, unfortunately it wasn't. But that was that was decent contact. All right, three zero. The pitcher is on deck, so I mean it's not the worst thing if we do walk Kelly here. So come on. All right, not the best place to put a fastball, but it does get the job done. Three one. Oh, just under Dixon Day. Ooh. I don't think he was gonna make the play regardless, but eh, it was. Solid effort. He's showing some spirit out there. You know what I mean? It's all about it's all about the spirit, the effort that you're putting in. And that should be the third out. So no damage done for back-to-back -back innings. Maybe the momentum shifting in our favor. Ooh, I thought I thought Raynell. Had it right there. He was just early on the changeup. Thought he just pulled it fair. And then he's whiffing on fastballs. Three strikeouts that inning. We, we got to do something about that. It's not good enough. Alrighty. Elmo Weeks is coming in. Like I said, we're, we're going to be burning through our bullpen a lot today. Come on, Frenchie. Make the play. Come on. Oh, over the head. There we go. Nice little play there. I'll take it. I didn't think you were going to make that play. I, that ball had some carry on it. May have just hung that fastball a little bit too much, but that's okay. He was late on it. Full count. We're going to go with the slurve. I have faith in Elmo Week's slurve. Okay. Maybe not. Throw it to first. Come on. Get him out. Kind of close. Kind of close. Not terrible. Base knock for David Peralta. Wilmer Flores does hit lefties a lot better, so we got to be careful here. As I say that, that drops. So that's probably first to third for Peralta. Yeah. He's going to get in. Two outs. And just as I was saying, our relievers were doing solid in their relief appearances. We're in a little bit of, little bit of trouble here. Okay. Nice little two seam there. Okay. I like that. Sinker inside. Fouls it off. Okay. Two strikes on him. We're going to go back to the slurve. Like I said, I got faith in it. Not chasing that one. Okay. What if we go back to it again? Get him chasing maybe? Man, he's got an eye for that pitch. Okay. Come on, LaFont. I need you to make this play. Can he do it? He does. No damage for three innings? Maybe we just needed to go to different relievers a little bit earlier because, I mean, three shutout innings. I think that's like a record for us. Felix Aguas hits it down the third baseline. Just doesn't have the speed. Oh, they threw it away. Oh, man. Jake Lamb with the error. We get another base runner. Our second base runner of the day. It's an error. I don't care, though. We got a base runner. That's... Oh, I think he's going to get thrown out at second. No way. No, he's not out there. How? How? There's no... How is he out at second? Can I get a challenge or something? He didn't put his foot down on the base. That slide is such a horrible animation. 
because he didn't put his foot down on the base. Are you kidding me? Uh, what a joke. Garfield Wallace is not going to get on base, but he is going to move the runner over to second. Jake Lamb is just having some issues at third base. And it all comes down to Frenchie to bring in Victor Victor Mesa at second. I mean, he hit that ball hard. So, I mean, we got a guy in scoring position. We just got to cash in on it. A base hit will score Victor Victor Mesa, so that's good. We just got to get a base hit. That's going to be the base hit. Are we going to test Adam Jones? We are. The throw is offline. We get a base. Ooh. I was going to say, we get a base runner home. That just, It seems wrong to say that. We get a run home thanks to the Frenchie. Pierre Lafont coming in the clutch. Just gets on top of that. Hits, you know, a decently hit hard hit ground ball through the right side. And we score a run. 99 off the bat. It's not crazy to think we could, you know, get close in this game. I'm not saying we're gonna win it, but we could we could make it a close close game. Slurve catches the outside part of the zone. Okay, we're gonna go back to that slurve because he wasn't expecting it. Um, I guess he was because he just hit it up the middle this time. <laughs> All right, so Carson Kelly does hit lefties pretty well, so we got to be careful here. A sinker down low. That's that's a good place, good place for it. Change up down the middle though. That's that's not a good spot. That's 100% gonna be extra bases. Oh, it's not nine speed. Okay, so corner, first and third. I mean that was a that was a that was a hanging pitch right there. Luke Weaver's up. You know what? We're gonna go to the bullpen. We're gonna go to Monty Ross. Luke Weaver is just doing damage. <laughs> Really, he's just going to swing that right up the middle. No issues at all. He's good, good on it, too. So there's another RBI for somebody. We got, we got to get out of this inning. Come on. Go foul. It's not going to go foul. And it's going to hit a weird part of the... All right, so let's get it in. Come on. Man, a double, RBI double, and that, that that streak of no runs from our bullpen is over. And we're in, a, we're in a tricky spot now. Second and third. Can Victor Victor Mesa make the play? Did he make the play? He didn't? Oh, I thought he made the diving catch. That would have been insane. Oh, I thought he made the play. All right, well, this is getting out of hand. We might have to go to the next arm in the bullpen because Monty Ross hasn't gotten it out. So Frankie Infante is going to come in. Hopefully he can stop the bleeding because right now they've almost doubled their runs this inning. So that's, that's an indication of how things are going. He doesn't go after it. Oof, bases loaded with one out. I mean, a force at every base. We got a lefty-lefty matchup. Come on, let's turn it. Turn it. Oh, we get out of that. Bases loaded jam. Frankie Infante does the job. Shuts the door. No more damage done. But four runs in an inning is just not a good scenario for us. Langdon Linwood. As I'm saying, he's going to be clutch for us. He gets a base hit. His one speed is definitely not stretching that to two, but good contact on it. I'm pretty sure it was a curve or a change. It kind of just floated in there. Great contact. Pulls it down the left field line, and it gets down before David Peralta can get there. Just barely gets down. Is Perdomo going to get a base knock too? No, it just hangs up a little bit too much. That's a base knock. There we go. Fausto keeps the inning alive. First and second for Felix Aguas. 
You know, he's due a hit too. He's 0 for on the day. He definitely can get us a base knock. Maybe get the bases loaded for Victor Victor Mesa. Come on. That's a base knock. Bases are loaded. Look at what we're putting together in this eighth inning. There are two outs, but it's it's our best hitter. We definitely need to take advantage of it. That's a good piece of hitting. It was a pitch high and away, and he goes with it. So it all comes down to the 0 for 3 Victor Victor Mesa. Come on. No, you did not swing. There we go. 1-0 count to start the at-bat. Good start. Good start. Two zero hitters count. We gotta see a you know a good pitch to be hitting right here. Could have been ball three. I don't know. It's still you know it was it was hanging up here and then at the last second it dropped. The change is kind of nasty with Weaver. And as I say that, that is a bomb hit to the left center gap can we keep it going we're gonna get greedy here we're gonna send him home he is 100% gunned at home oh I got greedy why did I do that we could have had second and third two outs we could have had the chance to bring in two runs but instead we only get the two oh man we I got greedy I shouldn't have done that I knew he was gonna be out at home but we do we, we tack on a couple more so that's a good thing to see Boof Dunn is going to come in. Hopefully be the last pitcher we use here in the bottom of the eighth. Oh, boy. This ball, is it carrying? No, it's going to stop right at the wall. LaFont oh, doesn't make the play. Are you serious? <sighs> That's annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. That's his second triple of the day. Alright, so we got a 1-2. We're going to go to the curveball here. It's going to get by the catcher, Paradomo. That's going to score the run. Yeah. So we kept him at third. And, of course, a wild pitch is the reason they score. That's unfortunate. So we got, what, full count here to Swihart. Let's see if we can just end the inning. We get him looking. Strike three. One run does score, though. That, that does suck. That's... It was like such a good inning, and that run had to score. So we're going to see Garfield Wallace up. And, man, we shouldn't have got greedy. Hirano is going to come into pitch. We shouldn't have got greedy last inning because we had, you know, like one of our better hitters coming up in Garfield Wallace. As I say, he's one of our better hitters. He goes down swinging very ugly. Just a very ugly at bat. Second hit as well, so a two for five day, two for four day for Dixon Day. So many days being said throughout that sequence. I didn't like it. It was too, too many. But he somehow just loops it to center field. And we got another chance here in the ninth. That's going to drop. We're going to keep him at second. Keep it, keep it smart. Maybe another two out rally is coming together so we got first and second we have two looping hits i don't know how that one got down <laughs> it somehow did we got leo perdomo up he's 0 for 3 he's due for a base knock just a little early on that one sitting heater 91's not coming in too quick as i say that we're late on the fastball again Alright, 0-2 count. Come on. Come on, Perdomo. 
He's coming right after you, trying to end it. Quick. That's a base knock. Come on. Get chugging. Oh, we're going to be smart. We're going to be smart. He might have actually beaten that throw home. I know he's got two speed, but I think he may have beaten that throw home. Boof done. I don't think we have any more bats. We don't. Oh, man. So we have to let the pitcher hit. Oh, that sucks. That's not good. <laughs> We had the bases loaded, and we're not going to bring a run home. But, hey, small victories. You know, towards the end of the game, we really pushed. And got we got something pretty close. I'm not going to complain about that, that game at all. That wasn't bad at all. So, they're doing their little snake celebration. That's dumb. Get that out of here. I don't want to see that. But that is how today's episode is going to finish end of July, basically. We're going to hop into the month of august next and then probably just finish out the season next episode just because i want to get into season two i start i want to start seeing our draft prospects get involved so we'll see how the rest of the season finishes in the next episode again guys if you guys want to see more of this series make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content like i said i got something really big to reveal to you guys at 15,000 subs i want to show you guys so the quicker we can get there the quicker i can show you guys and in the comment section, let me know why you guys really like this series. Let me know why you enjoy it. And that's really about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.